hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the player model inside our project so you can use whatever player model you want but if you want to use the same model as I am using so just go ahead and open up your browser and then search for maximo.com right here you can sign up for free or just simply log in once you log in in this website as you can see at the top right here you will have two options the first one is the characters and the second one is the animations so let's go ahead and click on characters and right here as you can see there are different characters let me change the filter right here to 96 per page and if we scroll down right here you can see this character which is by the name of Erica Archer I will click on it and then click on use this character and now it will load the character right here and guys if you notice right here there is this second character which is by the same name but as you can see it is with the bow and arrow so you don't need to download that just simply download the Erica Archer which is right here as you can see okay so once you download it this by clicking this download button and change this to FBX for Unity okay and this will be in the D pose okay just simply click on download and as you can see it is downloaded in the .fbx file and guys feel free to use any character which you want from here or you can use your own character as well so make sure that you set a destination for your download for example I have downloaded this on my desktop right here as you can see now what we will do we will just simply add this inside our project so since I am using Windows 11 I, uh, I can't just drag and drop this right here in my taskbar so what I will do is open up my unity project then in the assets let me create a new folder by the name of player model then in here I will right click and then click on this show in explorer and as you can see here is the player model folder now let me minimize both of this let me just cut this from here and inside our folder the player model let's just paste it and now if we open up unity as you can see right here we have the player model if we click on it here it is so for now it doesn't have the materials and textures so if we click on materials from here we can extract both of the textures and materials but first of all let's go ahead and create a folder for materials and then another folder for textures now if we click on the player.fpx file right here first of all we will be e extracting the textures okay and you will do the same because if you extract the materials first then your fpx file will be messed up okay so make sure that you first of all extract the textures so now let's select the textures folder and once that is extracted as you can see now here is our player in a perfect form okay now after this let's just extract the materials as well and now as you can see the materials are attached to this automatically okay and if you check the folders here is the materials so now what we will do right here we will add our player so just simply click on the player but before adding the player to the scene first of all make sure to click on this rig and then click on this animation type let's change this to humanoid and for the avatar definition make sure that you select this create from this model okay and then click on apply so whatever player character you are using make sure that the rig for that character is humanoid okay and now if we expand this right here as you can see this is our character avatar now we can just simply drag and drop our character right here inside our scene okay so here it is let's make sure that the feeds of the player 
is on the ground like that okay and you can notice the animator is by default applied in the avatar as well and now what we can do we can just simply click on prefab and then unpack completely and you can change the name of your character to for example player if you want and also let's add a tag to our player so we will say player and if you click on it here it is player and also let's add a layer to our player as well so we will say player and now if you click on layers here is the player layer okay click on yes change children so now our player is set up and now from the next video we will add the camera controller and also the player controller code and after adding that our player will be able to walk around in the environment and also the camera controller will follow our player okay so that is for the future let's end this video right here